Hey, what's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to import your audio, your loops, your samples into your Pro Tools 8 session. Let's check it out. Okay, so, when, if you want to import some audio, some samples or loops or whatever, you go to File, Import, and Audio. Or you can do Shift Command I, and it opens up your Import Audio window. So I'm going to find some audio that I want to import. I have some drum samples here. So I have the Casio Ratman. And as you can see, it's a wave. And my session is AIFF. So Pro Tools is going to need to convert that. but. Pro Tools is great because it does it automatic as soon as you import these tracks into your session. So you just have to be cautious of how you've created your session in, in your quick start, you know, what kind of audio, bit depth, and sample rate, and all that, because Pro, Pro Tools has to convert all that stuff. So as you can see, it's great when you look at some samples, it shows you what kind of file type it is, the length, the size, the bit depth, the sample rate, and how many channels. And then Pro Tools tells you that that WAV file must be converted to be used with this se session because the bit depth is different. So once you find some samples that you want to check out to put into your session, you can preview them as well with this with this little transport right here you have play and stop and then this is your volume and you can also scroll through the loop if it's a long loop with this so let's just play this this is a kick drum so as you can see i could preview them let's say i like that just double click to select it and it puts it in the regions to import window so if you want to import a bunch all you gotta do is click on the first one and then hold down shift and then the last one and as you can see it puts it in there in the regions to current file and then choose convert and it sends them all into the importing window so you can click on one and remove them or you can remove them all but as you can see the source sample rate is 44.1 which is good because that's what my session is and all those files are 44.1 but if your session is at a different sample rate, this drop down menu will open up and you can choose a different sample rate. Now quality, it shows tweakhead. Now that's the best quality. So you want to leave it on that, but you can change those in your preferences. But I suggest leave it on tweakhead because you get the best possible conversion. So once you've had those, those uh, files that you want to import, just choose done. And then it's going to show you to choose a folder. Now it says audio files. So this is the audio files folder in my session folder. So my session is importing audio. And then as you can see, audio. And then this is a folder that these are going to be saved to. Choose. And as you can see, you converted it. Now you can choose to new track or you can choose to region list. And with new track, you could choose where you want them to be. Session start, selection, spot, and also song start. But it's grayed out right now. So I'm going to choose the region list. Okay. So now, as you can see in my regions list, there's all my imported audio. Now I can click on one and drag it into audio track. As you can see here. Or you can click on one, drag it to the empty space, and then drop it, and it'll create a new track for you. But if you want to import, and just grab a bunch right here. So I'm importing them again, save into the audio files, but I'm going to choose new track. So now, as you can see, for all those files that I just imported, it created new tracks for them really easy. It'll get you going real fast. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.